So I know, I'm nervous in Kalsa. And here we are in the month of September. And this is the great time of the equinox where light and dark balance themselves. And it's an important time to actually really be consciously aware of, of, the, of where you've been and where you're going and the direction. You're really preparing for that whole renewal that comes from the different solstices. But during this time, it's great to work on uh, your protection and your projection. We're working on, just like last month, negative mind and positive mind. But in this particular Kriya that we're going to do this time, this, this Kriya is called uh, Meditation for Positive Communication. It's what Yogi Bhajan talked in the lecture that relates to this. And this Kriya, just like the last Kriya that we practiced last month, is from the book Kriya from KRI is that, um, that whenever you communicate, it, it should be from your dignity expressing your divinity. And if you kind of keep that in mind, uh, it's something that will actually really serve you well when you're going through this important time of this equinox. Now, we tune in with the tune-in mantra, Ang Namo, Guru Dev Namo, and then what we're going to do is we're going to chant also another mantra of protection. Yogi Bhajan talked about the Mangala Charan of Adgre Nameh being a mantra of protection. And especially if negative forces are around you, this is wonderful for that, but also Guru Gyatri. And that is Gobindi Mukande Udani Apadi Hadiyang Hadiyang Nirname Akame. And there are different meditations where you can chant this just by itself. There are several different meditations where you chant four hars in between each one of the words of that mantra. And a few times he mentioned chanting this had six times uh, in between each one of, of those uh, words in that mantra. And he mentioned it for children in particular, but he also mentioned it in terms of drawing the positive infinity around you to serve you. And so, just to prepare for this Kriya that we're going to practice today, do the tune in mantra and then chant Guru Gyatri, you know, to really protect yourself from the negative forces and use the six Hars in between. And you can do it rhythmically. This used to be my walking mantra when I was walking a lot in the wilderness of Alaska, my favorite mantra for walking. And it like, sounds like this. Han 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 gubinde Han 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 mukande Han 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 udane Han 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 apane Han 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 hadiyang Han 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 kanyang Han 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 nirname so do that for a while till you feel kind of established within the frequency of that mantra. And then we're going to practice this, uh, this Kriya. And so there's a specific mudra for this. And that is the left hand holds the right like this. And, so it's, and then the thumbs cross. They aren't curled, but they cross. And it's all kind of about the thumbs. Now he said, this is the way to do it, but if you're left-handed, you switch, right? So if you're right-handed, left hand holds the right. If you're left-handed, the right holds the left. And you hold this up at heart center height. And he said to, um, to push the shoulders forward. You keep a tight grip. What I, what I want you to avoid is rolling the shoulders down so that you collapse. You still want to be in neck lock but with the chest up high, but you can still push the shoulders forward and the hands have to be 9 to 12 inches out in front of the heart center. And so in this position, you're going to, um, with the eyes closed, you're going to chant the mantra, um, Hadi, 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 Had, and you're going to do this five times on a breath. All right, so it sounds like this. Hari 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 Han Hari 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 Han Hari 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 Han 
Honey, 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 honey. Now, I just ran myself out of breath doing that, and that's what he said to do, is it really takes a whole deep and complete breath. And so you're going to chant this and when he was um, for basically as long as you want. <laughs> All right. You know, I would suggest 11 minutes, but he said it's very personal uh, when, when you're done. And what it does is that it creates a very sweetness to the way you talk because Yogi Bhajan himself said he had to change himself by doing 40 days of this. He did 40 days of this mantra because he had a tendency towards cynicism and bitterness in his speech, which was pointed out to him by his nursemaid when he was younger. And so he did this mantra so he could change basically the frequency of his communication. So start with the tune in mantra, chant Guru Gyatri with those six hadas in between, and then do this mantra for as long as you like, actually, but let's do it for at least 11 minutes for the month of September so that we can make our communication powerful, we can make it positive, we can be sweet in our communication, and we can express the dignity of our spiritual self uh, through our divinity. So, and I'll enjoy practicing it with you, Satnam.